today, our discussion is on, why do we need APLL in single phase grid connected inverter? And, how to build APLL using MATLAB simulation tool? Why do we need APLL? The answer is very simple. Suppose, we want send an active current to the grid. First let me mark the voltage. Now the current, which has to be sent, should be in phase with this voltage. Now, in order to send this current, we need to generate a reference signal, and that signal should be, in phase with the actual voltage. And its magnitude should be in between, 1 and minus 1. So P, L, L, is used to generate this signal, and, this signal is used as the reference, for the implementation of current controller, in a grid connected inverter. Similarly, when we need to send reactive power to the grid, we use P, L, L, to generate a signal, which is 90 degree out of phase with the actual voltage. Now I will explain, how to generate, alpha, beta voltage, in single phase system. First we will give the voltage to a, low pass filter. We know that, transfer function of low pass filter is, omega c, divided by, s plus, omega c, where omega c is the, corner frequency of the filter. Now substitute, s equal to j omega. Then, transfer function become, omega c divided by, j omega plus, omega c. Now we can write, magnitude and phase of low pass filter as, omega c divided by root of, omega square plus, omega c square. Angle tan inverse, omega divided by omega c. Now suppose, if omega is equal to omega c, then magnitude become 1 by root 2, and angle become, minus 45 degree. If we add one more low pass filter, then magnitude become, 1 by 2, and angle will be, minus 90 degree. Now multiply output of second low pass filter with 2, then we will get a signal, which is same as input, but with a 90 degree phase shift. Since beta signal always lead the alpha signal, by 90 degree. We can call our input signal as beta, and output signal as alpha. This is how, we generate alpha beta in, single phase system. To implement PLL, first we convert alpha beta signals into D, Q, signals. Now set up a control system at Q output. Find the error between Q and Q reference. Set Q reference as 0. Now this error is fed to a PI controller. Output of PI controller will give the angle information. Integrate this to get omega t. This omega t is fed to the alpha beta to dq transformation block. Here PI controller works in such a way that output angle omega t is always aligned with input signal. So this omega t value, can be used for the generation of, active current reference signal, and reactive current reference signal. This is how we implement PLL in, single phase system. Now I will demonstrate everything using, MATLAB simulation.
We have added all the components. First arrange all components. Then start connecting it.
Now, we have completed connecting all the components. So, it's time to run the simulation and see the results. First, we shall look at the alpha beta waveform we got. To see that, open the scope. From the waveform, it's pretty clear that, we got the same waveform, what we expected. The phase difference, between these two waves are exactly, 90 degree, as you see. And, alpha is leading beta, by 90 degree. Now, we shall look at the, Q value of, voltage. To see that, open the scope. Reference Q value was 0. And actual value we are getting is also zero. So, the PI controller is working fine. Now finally, we shall see the cos omega t and sin omega t which is generated using PLL output. I have also added the actual voltage which is the beta voltage to the scope for the comparison. To see all these three waveforms, open the scope. We can observe following things from the waveform. Cos omega t and sin omega t are placed 90 degree apart. V beta and cos omega t are in phase. So cos omega t can be used for generating current reference when we send active power to the grid. V beta and sin omega t are in 90 degree apart. So sin omega t can be used for generating current reference when we send reactive power to the grid. That is the end of this presentation. Thank you.